Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Channel Legends video. Guys, this might be the best ever new starter promo code I've seen. And I've seen some absolute bangers over the last couple of years. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through the promo code. Uh, I will timestamp down below. So I'm also going to show you how to do a referral account. If you're not a brand new player today, but you're someone who wants to earn their referral rewards, then I'm going to show you how to do that alongside this video. And I'm also going to show you where the most, um, where the best place to farm is if you want to try and get your referral accounts maxed out as quickly as possible. So you can see here, I've still got two referral accounts that I've never maxed out. Uh, basically, personally, I don't have the patience to do it. But if you do want to do it and get yourself some void shards, get yourself some sacred shards. Uh, in fact, if you go even further and get yourself the next level, you can even get yourself Cronum the Legendary, who's pretty damn solid, and a bunch more Sacred Shards. So there's definitely some worth in doing this. But yeah, if you're a new player, just kind of like skip to the part where I talk about the promo code uh, now, because it is an absolute banger to get started in the game. Okay then, so let's get into this. So what I'm going to do first, in my, um, in my referral area, I've removed one of the people that I've set this up for once before. I've shown you this video maybe a few times. Uh, lots of people tell me this doesn't work. I'm doing it live this morning, right now. This is not like some old footage. This is happening right now. So if you follow these steps, please follow the steps, then this will work for you. So you hit get referral link. What that does, if you're on a PC, is it's going to copy a link to your computer. Yeah, It's like pr pressing control C. Yeah, if you were on like a Word document. Copies a link to your PC. Next thing you, you're going to want to do is download BlueStacks. Uh, I do have a link for BlueStacks down below. I'll get like a dollar if you download through me. But either way, this I think is the best way to do it. You might have an, an alternative that you want to use. But BlueStacks is like a, is an emulator. So it's like emulating a mobile on your PC. Now, what you don't want to do is download uh, RAID on the emulator. You want to go into System Apps, go into Chrome, yeah, or any browser with it in the emulator. Click in the search bar and then hit Control V because this is pasting the link we just got. Yeah. And then what you want to do is just before the HTTPS, yeah, before the actual link, you delete all of the blurb. And this now gives me my personal install link on Chrome. Hit enter and it's going to go through and ask you to sign in on Google Play. Now, what I'd suggest you do here is create a brand new Gmail account. People have tried it with existing. Sometimes it works. It seems to be a little bit buggy. So I'm going to create a brand new one here. Sun Wukong is my name. Do you find you have to put your own birthday in here just to make sure that uh, you're not going insane? Create your own Gmail so you don't forget it. This is, this is probably the hardest part is whether you're going to forget your Gmail account or not. Sun Wukong at gmail.com. Sorry, only letters A to Z, numbers of stops are available okay so we should go wukong at gmail.com see if that works already taken uh hh wukong at gmail.com taken why hh wukong 80 this way you need to start writing it down don't forget the email address that you've just made up obviously then you've got to create a password so we can create our own again write down your password don't get it don't make that mistake of uh not doing that okay so I've now got a new Gmail account set up. Um, just get through all of this crap. And then we can go back in game. So here we go. I've got a new inbox. So I can go back to BlueStacks now and sign in. And then I just want to sign in now with that account that I've just made. Okay, so again, it was HH Wukong. That's why I wrote it down. AT at gmail.com. Put your password in. Hit your next. And then that should sign you in now as one that you just made. Never lose your contacts. Okay. Okay, don't forget the little scroll down there. <laughs> I was like, what does it want me to do? Uh, okay. Okay, and then you get to this point where it's like install RAID Shadow Legends. So now it's installing RAID, but it's still on my referral link. Yeah, so it's going to take a second to install RAID. I then need to run through the tutorial for the 784,000th time. Uh, to show you guys some new account stuff. So I guess the, the frustrating or the, the long part is doing all these account setups. 
especially if you're going to do this for multiple accounts. So start new game. This is now going to be running under uh, your, your referral link. Now we're going to get the juicy music up. It takes a second to get in, involved. So anyway, I'll get through this tutorial and then I'll show you how you know that it has worked. Okay, we're getting towards the end of the tutorial here and we should see instantly, instant gratification if this has worked. And there are on hellhades.com, we've got a couple of things that's kind of like, if, if it's not working for you, there's a few, a few things to try. But see the way now we finish the tutorial, we get our free boots and we should see now in referral program, first we see the way it's popped up Hell Hades here. I hit claim reward and then I hit trust. And basically what this now means is I am now linked to hellhades.com. No, I'm not. I'm linked to my Hell Hades account. Um, and yeah, and now everything I do is now a referral link to that Hell Hades account. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put the promo code in firstly, because this is a juicy. Um, so we're going to promo codes. I don't think it has to be capitals, but Monkey King is the promo code. And you get yourself Sun Wukong plus a bunch of stuff to level him up. Sun Wukong, some brews, uh, some pots to, to kind of improve his ascension as well. This is a juicy, juicy starter pack. The only other one that's available right now that could even come close is Superpowers, which would give you Deacon, who is an epic champion. In isolation, if, if I was just doing a referral account, um, Deacon's not there. If I was doing a referral account, I think Sun Wukong wins easily. If I was doing a long-term account, I think Sun Wukong wins as well, but just because Deacon is going to be so much easier to pull from a shard as an epic. So Sun Wukong being a legendary and a damn good one, I think it's a no-brainer. You should definitely pick him up. So let's talk about how do we level our account super fast. Let's grab all this good stuff. What I want to do is open the tavern as soon as I can and use all of the stuff that I just got for Sun Wukong. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to give Wukong the new boots that we got. Every time you log in on a daily basis, you're going to give Wukong the new item because it's actually brilliant. Okay, All of the new stuff you get um, as a starter account is actually very good. Okay, So you want to make sure that you, you do that. You probably want to make sure that you just upgrade it as soon as you can as well. It always gives you the same roles and they're always good. Okay, So the starter gear that you get for your seven day login is always extremely solid. And what I'm going to show you is the best places to farm with this new starter account. So you want to upgrade all of this. Because we get a cheeky amount of extra silver from our promo code there, I would actually upgrade it to 12, just straight away. Get yourself more speed and get yourself, yeah, just a third roll here. Because all of this extra power is just going to speed you through that early stage of the game much quicker. Comment down below, by the way, what do you think? Superpowers with Deacon versus Monkey King with Sun Wukong. What do you think is the best uh, starter? Hopefully, I've got enough silver here. Yeah, there you go. So we got upgrade to 12 straight away. Perfect. Might as well just upgrade these to eight as well. Instant upgrade doesn't get unlocked until 40. It's like, Rain, why? Why do you want to torment your new players? There's a stat, right? And this is from doing the Fateless stuff. New players tend to leave within the first 10 days. Yeah, if they're going to leave, it's probably within the first 10 days. And they lose like something like 70% of the new players. Like, no wonder. Why don't you let them have their stuff? Uh, anyway. What we do then, so we go into campaign and we're just going to farm our way through as far as we can with this troop. So bye bye you, in goes you, I think like this. And then we're just going to farm our way through some different areas. So I'm going to get this going. I think the sound is still on. I always forget like new accounts always come in with this super loud sound. I'm sure my editor by now has edited out the other sound because otherwise you probably can't hear a word I'm saying. But Wukong is a hard hitter, right? So he does good damage and he's got an AoE skill and he's got a second skill which kind of acts like an AoE once he gets a bit of power to him. So you're just literally flicking through all of this stuff. Now, in terms of running your referral account, to try and do it as quickly as possible, I've got a cool little sheet here which Saf pulled together. Yeah, so it's like how to efficiently level your raid account. And there's some stuff in here which... I've played this game five years. I did not know. Okay, it is new information to me. So definitely check this out. Basically, 
what it tells us is how much XP do we need to hit that level 50? Yeah, if we go back to my main raid account, uh, come out of this, I should see, I probably have to re-log in, and we should see now my referral account spinning up that third spot. There it is. Okay, so it's online, it's leveling. We love it, level two. So in order to get to this level 50 as quick as possible, or maybe even just level 30, if you just want the void shards, right? Void shards are pretty juicy. It tells us here on this graph or the sheet how much XP we need to be able to do it. So if you just want to get to level 30, we're talking nearly 700,000 XP versus getting to level 50, 11 million XP. Okay, it's a lot longer to get to the level 50 than it is the level 30, obviously. But Saf's gone to the, the hassle or the, the, the effort of telling you where you could farm your, your runs, right? So let's say you just wanted to be very casual. You don't want to push the account in any way. You just log in, do the bare minimum. So what you want to be doing is farming stage normal campaign 12-6. And that's going to take you uh, to get to level 30, about 600 runs. Yeah, so 2,500 energy. And he basically goes through and tells you how many hours that would be depending on how quick your runs are. Um, super efficient, Saf. And if you want to get to level 50, 10,000 runs, uh, which is about 40,000 energy. Now, you don't have to do this quick, by the way. You can literally just have, with blue stacks, you can have multiple instances up at the same time. They've got this thing on the right-hand side here called multi-instance manager. So you can click this, and what it will do is you can, you can create another BlueStacks instance. Instance, fresh instance, yeah? And you would go through the same steps we've just done there for multiple accounts. So that way you could get all of your referral accounts just running at the same time. You can resize this. In fact, I do, I've done this multiple times myself. You have... Raid one running here, raid two running here. And before you know it, you're getting all of your accounts leveled at the same time. So BlueStacks is good for that, okay? BlueStacks has also got a macro recorder. So you see this little, uh, like, I guess, triangle inside a wheel here. You can open your macro recorder. Uh, let's just get it this a second. So if I wanted to just replay this stage and I knew how long it was gonna take me, let's say it's an 11 second stage, okay? So I can hit record. I can hit replay, I'll let it run through. The assumption here is you're actually doing this on stage 12.6 rather than doing it here, by the way. I'm just showing you how this works. What it's doing is it's just recording where your mouse is gonna click. So I'm not clicked anywhere else yet. Okay, we don't really want that. I then hit replay again, and then I stop, okay? So now what's gonna happen, if I, if I go into the settings here and say either repeat infinitely or Repeat action, I don't know, 100 times. Yeah. What we'll do, if I then hit save and play, it will now just run. It will run until it's, it's done that, that same key sequence 100 times. Yeah, and then it will stop. So I could do that with multiple instances of BlueStacks, basically auto farming. Yeah, it's what RSL Helper does for people on Player in Play. This is what we all used to do before Farbersoft came up with RSL Helper. See that? I didn't touch anything. It's just replaying. Yeah, so that's, that's how you can auto farm once you get to the stage that you want. But you want to push on further than I am right now to do your auto farming. And that's what this spreadsheet is helping us with here. So basically, if you want to be super easy about it, you can just go to normal. If you want to speed it up and push a bit harder, you go to hard, it actually reduces the hours you're going to need to take by three times according to Saf's, oh no, no, sorry, by like 20 hours according to Saf's sheet here. And then if you got all the way to brutal, you'd knock like another 10 hours off. So it depends how much you want to get engaged in these accounts. If you just literally just want them running, I would suggest it's quite easy to get to, especially with all this bonus stuff, you could get to stage 12 hard quite easily, I think, because you're going to have Wukong um, maxed out level 50 pretty damn fast. Don't forget, you don't care about any of the food on your account. Server maintenance halfway through my video. I was like, why has it stopped working? Server maintenance, nothing to do with the blue stacks thing. Yeah, so you would basically get yourself up to hard and then you'd, you'd start to kind of push through the different levels. Now, this is what's quite interesting. There's some of the stuff I didn't know. So that's got another little tab here on this, this stage XP sheet. So he's got energy cost, 
He's got the amount of XP. This is account XP rather than your character XP, right? You don't want to be anywhere other than campaign for XP for your account to get to level 50. And you'll see here, it gives you like the amount of XP that you kick out, how much energy it's going to cost you, therefore XP per energy. So if you went to stage 12.6, you would get more energy, uh, more XP per energy than if you went to 12.5, for example, on, this is on Brutal. But the weird thing is, if you were on Hard, you actually get exactly the same XP across all of stage 12 on Hard. Don't know why. It's not the way it works kind of anywhere else in the game. It's almost like it's an error. But um, similarly, if you're in the Deadlands, it is about the same, well, it's exactly the same XP across all levels in the Deadlands. Doesn't make any sense. But you could come all the way back to normal here and you actually get a good amount of XP, 1100 for doing stage six on normal per energy because it's only costing you four energy to run it. So that's actually pretty damn sweet. Um, so I would say you either go here or you could go somewhere like Hard the Hallowed Halls, which is pretty good for XP per run. Or I would go to Hard Stage 12. And I think if I was doing it actively and trying to get my referrals done as quick as possible, I would get to Hard Stage 12 and just auto run the easiest stage for Wukong, depending on affinities. And you would get your referrals done pretty damn quick. Uh, certainly pretty damn quick to level 30 to get your void shards. After that, the pain sets in because you know it's a long way off and that's whether you want to go and get those sacreds or not. Uh, but, you know, to get yourself eventually six free sacreds is pretty damn good, honestly. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully it told you everything you needed to know. If you run into any problems with it, there is this uh, how to do referrals sheet on uh, hellhades.com. And basically the only things which I didn't do, which they recommend here if it's not working, are change device in BlueStacks instance, stop and restart BlueStacks instance, um, everything else I think I did. But I've never had to do any of those things. Some people seem to have to do them. I don't know why. Um, so let, there you go. Best ever. Free, uh, free to play new player promo code. I think so. And yeah. Get yourself some referrals done as soon as you can if you want to play this game long term. Be my recommendation. Anyway, I've been Hell Hades. Enjoy your day. I'll see you soon.